bow tie, yeah, 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 bow tie, yeah. Previously in the Bowtie movie, Bowtie was spilling his guts about his deep dark fears to a crazy torch person psychiatrist. We now return to the Bowtie movie in three, two, one. Well, there's basic fears like overcharging my cell phone or portable device and ruining the battery life. But the worst dark fear of all is when I was a teenager and I was working at McDonald's with my friend Pizza, I was always self-conscious and afraid my hair wasn't right. When he wasn't looking, I would take out the comb and I would try to fix my hair but he would always turn around and look at me and I would quickly put, put the comb away. But I knew he would catch me one day and I was terrified. Well, Bowtie, you're going to have to face your fear of combing your hair. And there's no better place to face it than in my special school for extraordinary individuals. Oh my God, so you, you are- That's right. I'm Professor Xavier Dumble Gandalf. But before you can pick your courses and meet your friends and enemies, you must first face the comb. Dangity dang drops. What happens next in Bowtie's showdown with the comb is up to you. Leave your answers in the comments below. We hear a lot of good stuff here that inspired scene 12 of the Bowtie movie. Jeremy Jafried said that he'll leave his phone plugged in too long and shorten its overall battery life. And that is terrifying. Debbie Stab said Bowtie is in a horror movie. And oh, he sure was in that pizza flashback scene, wasn't he? It inspired that for sure. Space alien Hula Bunny Chronicles said, How about some fear from his childhood? And that is why that story was picked. The comb. Thanks so much, everyone. I can't wait to see what you want that showdown to be between Bowtie and the comb. I know it's going to be pretty exciting. 